outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network. And it's coming up next. Sean Manaya gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do we need to know here, Danny? The pride and joy of Andre in high school and Gary, Indiana. Sean Manaya, he had the no hitter against the Boston Red Sox, one of the tougher lefties. He reminds me a lot of Sid Fernandez. Low three quarter arm angle, mid to upper 90s fastball, good curveball. One of the top young left handed pitchers in all of baseball. Stepping up now, Luisa Reyes. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And it's one and two. 64 degrees, our temperature here at first pitch this afternoon. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Here he comes again, one, two. Right side. Oh, look at the sliding stop in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Here's Byron Buxton now. His career numbers against Manaya, he's one for three. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Stepping in now, Nelson Cruz. Skied into straightaway right. Piscotti's there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first year. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the one and one delivery. Hit back up the middle. Base hit, and the A's are into the hit column for the first time this season. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Standing in now, Tony Kemp hit on the ground down the first baseline. He's got it. Gonzalez for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semyon. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Bases are empty here with two men out. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. 
Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Come on. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Keeps fighting them off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a solo shot for Marcus Simeon. First home run of the campaign for him and they've taken a one run lead. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. Into the box now, Matt Olson. Lifted down the line and left. Chasing after it is Rosario, but this will land untouched. Lofted in the air out toward right center. 